What's going on guys? Today we are doing a fishing speed run. So we're gonna try and get a lot of fish really quickly, as fast as we can. Oh, oh and another one. Let's go do this! So I woke up this morning and it was such a beautiful sunrise. I was gonna plan on just making breakfast, chilling by the fire, enjoying my morning off, but I saw all the birds at work all the way up the shoreline. So naturally, I followed them all the way up there with my rod, started casting at them, nothing at all. Went back to camp, saw bigger birds diving, saw bigger birds feeding, and I was like, you know what, that is a good indication that there's some, probably some bigger fish down here. When you see big birds diving, that means there's probably some bigger fish around. Bigger bait fish means bigger predator fish. I'm gonna try and catch as many fish as I can within the hour, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do so too. So follow along, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite lures. These lures catch a lot of kinds of fishes and nice ones too. It's called a gotcha plug. I've got a 1,000 size reel, I've got a seven foot rod, and I've got all this beach to fish by myself. So now, gotchas work really well to just attract any kind of fish that's chasing small fish. And I'm just gonna go walking up and down the shoreline and see if I can find any pods of bait, pods of fish, uh, and maybe we'll get into a, a nice school of fish. Let's do this. Usually I don't use lures. I, I most of the time use bait. But since I'm doing a speed run today, I don't want to have to keep baiting up and rebaiting and checking my bait and leaving it there. I want to actively run up and down the beach throwing this lure. So I see busting fish down there. I'm gonna have to run. Now once you get one, go right back out for another. Usually when there's one, there's multiple. Oh yeah, again. Oh yeah, this speed run is, is going well so far. I hope I don't get something too big, it might spool me out. Yep, as I expected. See all those birds over there? Should we go follow those and see what's up? Why is there a party there? A needle needle fish. Fish. Oh my God, what kind of fish! All kinds of fish on this one lure. It's beautiful though. Look at her, his color. Needle. Ooh. And we're just casting it out and bringing this piece of metal in really quickly. It looks like a little fish swimming by really quick. Nice 
going, Dad. Oh, look what they're eating. They're, they're eating, look. Oh. All right, Vernon, go and eat the fish. Come on. Keeping these. Oh, and another one. Woo! Aaron, your turn. Teach here. me how okay. to use it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cast it out and just start jigging it back like this, really quickly. You can see them in the the schools right here. Come on. amazing on your on, on this little one one thousand size rod ten pound test Aaron you want to try here okay you're good oh she's on she's on and small yep. there are a lot of them are small but it's non-stop isn't it This is for sure a fishing speed run, isn't it? Yeah. Get a big one, Aaron. Okay. Get a big one like you always do. If I get a big one, it's only because you teach me how. See, anybody can catch fish. You gotta be there at the right time with the right gear. Just listen to our advice and you can get on some fish. Yeah. I love this This one got bitten by something. Like I said, this lure is just a really great lure to just start catching. Like, if there's fish around, they're gonna bite this thing. Can you call it a sand flea? <laughs> Dad said let it go. It's dead. No, it's moving. It's going. Go, go, go. There you go, see? <laughs> They're running. Bye. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> oh! 60. <laughs> oh, it just got off. Oh, thank God. This lure is really good to just catch a bunch of fish really quick. You don't have to bait up, you don't have to do anything. Just keep casting it. Woo! Casting it out there and I'm really just working it fast like this. And then I let it pause to let it sink and then I go again.
on? I have no idea. Yeah, I see. Okay, I think you should give it a try now. You saw what I was doing, right? Yeah. Cast it out as far as you can, and then just start popping it back, okay? And you saw how fast I was pulling it back, right? Yeah. I'm gonna retie this for you because look at how frayed it's getting. That's the only thing. You have to keep retying it. All right, and give it a try. Now bring it back quick. I see them busting out there. You do? Can you hit one? Faster. Jerk your rod tip faster. Wow! Nice going, Aaron. Good, you're on fire. That's like every cast you're getting one. Oh, oh my gosh, because you're a natural. You're a natural born blonde. I mean, fisherman. Fisherman. Wow. That's a record. That's a bluefish. Yes. It's a different kind of fish. I think I just snagged it. They're just going crazy in there. Oh my god. All right, here's going to be my little trick here. I've got my waterproof bait box. I'm going to put a tentacle. These are the squiddy tentacles right here. I'm gonna put just tentacles in the back of it like this as a trailer. So as it's fluttering, it has a smell of squid and it looks kind of like a dying fish coming off the back end. That's a great presentation. We can also, here's the, the mantles of the squid. I like these ones because you can cut it into whatever shape you want. If you want a nice long sliver like this, You can cut a nice long sliver just like this. You can cut a fork tail like this. That's great. This is great for like bass fishing, largemouth bass, or even, even like striped bass, flounder, stuff like that. But right now, I'm just gonna use a tentacle just like this. Let it go. Let it go. Woo, holy crap, that Albie took me for a ride. A as soon as I put that squinty bits on, I don't know if it's luck, I don't know if they really like the squinty bits, but that's how I got the Albie. I put it on, first cast. Oh my God, love when that happened. Those Albies are really, really strong. They're like little torpedoes and like, it was really peeling my drag out. Like I thought it was getting close in, then it took me back out. 
then I had to play it in the surf. What a fun fight. But that's not really good eating fish, supposedly. And I'm catching a lot of Spanish mackerel. So you know what? I'm just going to keep the Spanish mackerel and let that albie go. But they're, they're going so crazy right now, I can't stay and talk. I got to get back fishing. Unless you don't want to. Of course I do. Okay. Okay, we're just taking turns here at this point, guys. My arm's kind of tired. I'm going to hand it over to Aaron. But we're going to have some good fish tonight. We're eating good tonight. This girl's on fire, and everyone knows it. All these people here know it. Yeah. Everyone here. This is something different. <laughs> Either a bigger Spanish or maybe a bluefish. I, I don't know. Oh yeah. That's a nice Spanish. a nice one. Now that's the dinner fish right there. I want to see if there's any any bigger ones by these birds over here. There's a lot of these big birds right here. You see them? Big birds are different than little birds. Over there's a lot of little birds. That's a bluefish. I gotta keep checking my leader line. I don't want it to get bitten off. Oh my gosh, I'm catching my arm off here. Aaron, you're gonna want to try soon? Sure. Oh! What happened? Just threw up. I should just retie it right now. It's like every single cast. What a lucky day. It doesn't always happen like this.
Oh, it's pulling my drag. It's been a little bit bigger. Husband and wife. <laughs> yeah. Big blue, big blue. The big old blue. I'll keep that one. I'm just really tired. That was a lot of adrenaline. You got some fish too, didn't you? It was tiring. Now you're exhausted, huh? I'm very tired. Look at my hands. Ew. Smell them. No. It's shiny. No. Ew. And they're not even fish scales. My, I, my hand just grow. It just looks like this. Part fish now. I'm part fish. Okay, well, that's the end of the day. They're still biting, but I'm like too tired to even fish anymore been doing this for a, like about an, an hour straight so that concludes our, our fishing speed run we got must have been like a hundred fish huh I, don't know, a lot. I lost count we'll count them in editing but we, yeah we lost count. it was a we lot of count. fish and they're yeah. still there I can still see them busting out there yeah. but we lost a lot of our plugs already and we're out of stuff we have to go and figure out what to use next because they don't want it they don't they don't want these big lures that we have they want only these small gotchas and, and maybe a little spoon Maybe I'll try a little spoon next. That was that was another great day on the island. We've got a whole bucket full of fish, um, and I'm gonna fillet them up and eat those up for, for dinner and try and bring some home. You got you got all kind of stuff on your shirt. I don't know what it is, but all kinds. It's just sand and guts and blood and, and scales and scales. Yeah. Does it smell great. Well, I was I was originally wearing all sweats, and then I ran down the beach and I got so hot I had to strip everything down. Good thing I had all this under it. I got a lot of fish today. The gotcha plugs worked really well. And I, honestly, putting a little piece of squiddy bits on the back of that, I think it's also helpful to, to attract some more fish as well. Yeah, at the end, I caught a, a nice albie just at, as soon as I put that squid bait on the end of it. Here at Hayscaper, we want to help you learn how to fish. We want to inspire you to get outside, get adventuring, bring your family, bring your mom, your dad, your sister, your brothers, your, your, your entire friend list. It's always a good time when you go fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. But remember, fish responsibly and don't leave trash on the beach. You can have fun without ruining the world and ruining other people's time. If you want to learn more about how to fish, we do a lot of tutorials on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I've got a lot of PDFs on there, the squiddy bits. I have clam, shrimp, all sorts of different baits that I want you to try. If you want to get on fish, visit our website, hayskipperfishing.com. If you like this episode and you like our videos, um, we do this every single Thursday. I travel around with my family, with my fiance, with my friends, and we just straight up go fishing nonstop. And we teach you guys exactly what we're doing. We want to make sure that you guys understand and we want to make sure that you guys know how to do it because it sucks not knowing how and seeing everyone else catching fish, but no one wants to share with you. So that's kind of what we're doing here is we're kind of, we're, we want to raise a responsible new generation of fishermen here. Fishermen and fisherwomen. For any of you young kids watching our show, go fishing. Don't cause trouble. Just go fishing. It's a lot more fun. You get fish to eat and chicks dig it. Or uh, uh, chicks and dudes dig it. Whatever your preference is. Or if you prefer none of the above, I don't know where I'm going with this Just one. Dig Just dig it. Just dig it. Just dig it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.
All right, what a good speed run. We got a lot of fish. I'm gonna fillet them all up right now. After I fillet them, I'm gonna save some for lunch tomorrow, dinner tomorrow, breakfast, whatever meals we wanna make, we're gonna have a lot of fresh meat. You excited to eat some of this? Yes. Long time to fillet all those, but this is probably, I'd say around 10 to 15 pounds of filleted fish wow. in one morning. That's not bad. What do you think? Oh, yeah.